organization and if you don't know about it yet, there's some material around here. It's fairvote.org. Please go to the website and find out a little bit more about it. Um, Fairvote does a few things. Uh, in short, what they do is make our elections more fair. The, the voting system that we have uh, it's not bipartisan, it's nonpartisan. And the voting systems that we have in place now were invented over 200 years ago. It's a nice start, but we can do better. Things like the Electoral College are set up to create a system where someone, regardless of what party, can win the national popular vote but lose the election. A lot of people think that that's just the way it is and that's the way it has to be. That's not true. Fair was making tremendous progress in changing that and improving upon it. Uh, NPD or National Popular Vote is just one of the things that, that we're focused on. And one of the ways that we're making progress is we have states signing compacts that say they will pledge their electoral votes to whoever wins the, the national popular vote. We have nine states in the District of Columbia already. <laughs> Columbia have already pledged to give their electoral votes to whoever wins the national election. New York State just passed it in the state House uh, and Senate. Uh, the New York Times just urged uh, Governor Cuomo to sign it, and that we're almost halfway towards uh, the number of electoral votes that we need, uh, or participating states to do that. Uh, with representation uh, is, is another issue. That The number of women who run for office, who serve in office, is not representational of the population. That needs to be fixed. Uh, there are a lot of things that we're doing, but they're all based on making your government represent you. Uh, and so with that, I want to introduce Rick Hertzberg uh, to make a few comments. Again, uh, I'm sorry for the sound system so everybody can, can listen. We, we believe passionately that these things that Fairweather is doing will help everybody in this room and your family and friends. So again, thanks for coming.